This is Twit. Uh, now we say hello to Dick D. Bartolo, Mad's maddest writer, and our Gizmo Wizard. Ba -ba -ba. Hello, Dickie oh, D. Welcome. Well, how you doing? Wonderful. How are you, Micah? Yes, Micah. Hello. I can't believe this. These, you know, I have a three-piece suit. <laughs> you should start uh, wearing it. But the it. three pieces don't match. Oh, <laughs> so one's Hawaiian, uh, <laughs> one's Victorian. Yeah, it's Hawaiian. Yeah, and, and I lost the pants. Edwardian. Yeah. So uh, you should have an Elizabethan <laughs> collar as well. Yeah. Oh my! I, I mean, it's great. It's great. <laughs> Thank God you have the socks to balance it out. <laughs> yes. Got to get a little wonky in there. Oh, Lord. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So Dick joins us every week to share a gizmo or a gadget. Did you go to CES? You know what, Leo? I did virtual CES. Chad Chad went. Uh, a couple of my other friends went. But the, the disadvantage of virtual CES is that you can't go down to find the real bizarre things. Right. Because the people with the real bizarre things don't have the money to have any PR. So <laughs> I thought, okay. I will, go, I will go the opposite way for today's spot. With the most expensive Ooh. things I found. Now, the first one, I I think if you get some more money, you'd be interested in this, okay? It's the world's first all electric ultralight personal airplane. <laughs> oh, I want one of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's ultralight, so you don't need a pilot's license, but you do need two weeks of training. You can take off from your driveway and land on your driveway because it's vertical takeoff and landing. Wow. VTOL. Uh, the, yes. And the other requirement is you can only fly daytime and you must be in uncongested areas. So, what? so if there are allergies the in here. the area... <laughs> Then you're not. Now, you have to take some Claritin before you can. How do you fly. know if it's uncongested? I mean, what is that? Do you just look well, up and go? Oh, it, it looks pretty it good. Looks uncongested. I don't see anybody up there. Maybe there's an app. Well, you know, my guess would be Petaluma would be con considered uncongested. uncongested. Yeah. And New York City, it, it would be a no-no. Yeah. Yeah. So you just use um, your common sense. That'll that so always that works start, when it comes to driving and flying. Yeah. And yeah. Like exactly. Yeah. Common, sense. common sense. That, that's um, all you need. That's all you need, really. Yeah. yeah, that starts at a hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, that's that's not. Now they show this bad. every year at CES, don't they? I seem. To no, uh, according to the the uh, interview guy, this is the first time that it's been an all electric version. Ah. And, uh, and FAA approved. Okay. Okay. So um, that means they they can actually fly this thing. Yeah. It uh, looks so I asked, cool. how, is that how crashing long? or taking off? Which is no, it is. It is going in for a land. You know, I, I let's see. I guess it's. <laughs> it looks like it's upside <laughs> down. Know. That is not a good picture. I don't know. This is the You're pivotal right. helix. Yeah, it's an ultralight. You now, do they intend watch the this? Video it kind of explains. Did they intend this for um, John Denver types, or is this for commuting? Or it, it can be whatever you want for it. It has a 20 mile range. Okay. The guy said, as battery technology increases, 20 miles pretty good, actually. They'll, yeah. they'll be able to. But this is so uh, like people take helicopters range. from JFK oh. to downtown Manhattan. So you could take your own little pivotal helix. Is that what do you think this is, maybe? No, there's only one person. Neat. It looks like a flying coffin to me. So I think <laughs> when I die. <laughs> I think a I would like to be flying coffin. I would like to be flown yeah. over. That's their new slogan. Don't, uh, don't apply for the PR job at that company. <laughs> oh, guys, have I got a slogan for you? It's going to get a lot of attention. So it would, it's, get, it would get a lot of attention. Version. To be fair, <laughs> it, so because it's vertical takeoff and landing, do those wings turn so that you can go up, and then they turn so you can go down? I don't. You yeah, know look at no, that. They, there's, you, there's an example. It's like a they, they, they oh, go, you, yeah. oh, you land at an angle. That's yeah. why they that that angle. I get it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's so those are neat. it's a fixed wing aircraft. Yeah. Oh, that's it really fun. Neat. And it flies. Yeah. You're you're when you fly, you're downhill. You're always you're always looking yeah, down. You 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 that's feel so that way. weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Well, good for them. We finally have flying yeah. cars. I want a demo. 
Yeah, oh, okay. bring it out okay. here. Yeah, We're, bring your It's not congested here, <laughs> unless you've got allergies. <laughs> exactly. All right, so now uh, you guys are talking TVs. Yes. Okay, yes. the CC'd 4K unfolding TV. <laughs> It takes 60 seconds to, there's a little, um, on their website, or uh, on my website, I think I have the little unfolding thing. It unfolds in under a minute to a 137-inch micro LED TV. That actually does look pretty cool, I have to say. All right, we got to see it now. It can rotate 180 degrees. TV that doesn't... But when ooh. you're done, it folds up into a piece of sculpture. The YouTube video shows you the unfolding process, and it's actually it quite... also... Nice. Oh, there it is. So, N1, I mean, this is a Sneed. monster. <laughs> a monster device. Oh. My guess is wow. that this is going to be for... And they make an outdoor version, which is... Two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Is this LED, LCD, micro LED? Micro, micro LED. That's what we were just talking micro about. LED. Okay, that's how they can do that. Now, one of the things, yeah. Dick, the, you know, they've had micro LEDs at CES since twenty twenty. In fact, you and I looked at one uh, in back in the day. Um, yeah, and you could see the lines where the pieces were fit together. Have they solved that. You know what? For when this thing fully opens, it looks pretty it, clean. It looks to me from the video right. that the line totally. I like this. Goes slowly. You see it now? It's gone. Yeah, yeah. It was there for a second, and then once it finally settled in. But you can see on the yes. edge of the screen. See those black lines? Those are the, I believe, the micro LED snap together panel. You'd have to be very careful. Make sure there's never a bug in between that gets squished. Ooh, or your finger. Or your finger. Yes. Um. This is, is yeah. it for, it's not for outdoors. There's an outdoor version. They make two versions. Version. Oh. They make the indoor version is uh, 200,000. The outdoor version is 240,000. I think hotels will buy this. The outdoor version can lift itself up to eight feet high. So it says, if you're, if you're walking from your jacuzzi <laughs> to your swimming pool. Oh, there's a yacht version too. Yeah. They're yes. really, yeah. On the yacht, yeah. well, it's a you know a fraction of the cost on a yacht. Yeah. Uh, oh, they go as high as 165 inches. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the folding ones. And so look, I mean, look at how big that is. Yeah, that's I mean, huge. This, you could you could start a drive-in theater with one of these. <laughs> oh, to pay for the cost. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. It's a great investment. Yeah. Very nice. And, and the final really high price thing was a Boston Whaler with prototype auto docking. See, I've always wanted a Smart Boston Park. Whaler, as you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. I have it in my car. I should have it in my Whaler. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's interesting because they were saying that 70% of the people who don't own bo boats, the main reason is... They're afraid of docking. That's it. not the main reason. <laughs> it's such a lie. Well, you know what? It, it, <laughs> I, I can tell you, it's one of the reasons. There was a, a guy at the Marine had this beautiful yacht, and uh, I, I met him one day going into the Marine. I said, "You know, I never see you on the water." And he goes, "Do you think I know how to drive that thing?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you and know then, docking, but docking don't you just like aim at the dock, turn off the engine, and let it float in? No, oh. you know what? It, it, in their in their demo video. It is pulling into an empty marina oh, yeah, where it's the only boat that's going to sure. dock. Simrad. At, at 79th yes. Street, you have tug wakes and right. ferry wakes and an eight knot tide and wind. So docking in a very crowded marina is uh, a chore. So auto docking, I think it's... A, a bit away, but joystick docking is is great. Well, I, this I is did a, one of the things that's cool is it has it looks like it has azipods, does it? What'd you call me? Azipod. <laughs> you know Isaac Azipod. He wrote oh, Foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, it has the it the, it can it doesn't just go forward. Oh, it has I see. Sideways and sideways it thrusting. Gets thrusting. Yes, it can yeah. thrust and in any I, direction. It looks like yeah. on the back of that. Are three Merc. Oh, look at this! Look at that. V twelve. Do you need those? Six hundred horsepower each. Holy outboards. cow! So, 
the base price of that boat, I believe, starts at about a million and a half dollars. Oh, psh, nothing. And it's funny. And, it's just yeah. like a little motor, but it's not like a yacht. Yeah, it's so it's just small. A little... No, it's not like a yacht. It's yeah. not like a yacht. Well, first it's of all, Boston boat. Whaler is like the key name in in, in quality boats. Yeah. Um, Did you ever have a Boston Whaler? I had, I yeah, I had the 13 foot and the 15 foot. Oh, see? And, and and they were kind of indestructible. Yeah. Until you destroyed them. It, people, it would be for fishing, <laughs> I guess recreation, maybe a little bit. But you you don't sleep on, well, I guess you could if you wanted to. You would not really. No. Uh, oh, on that boat? It's not a sleepover. Oh, that, no, that, that boat has a, a beautiful cabin. Oh. So you could. Oh, yeah. No, that, that. That's a forty-three foot, and I think like oh, a it's huge. twelve or thirteen foot beam. Oh, well, no, that, that's a that is so a it is beam. a yacht then. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see, right next to a yacht, you could have it and a yacht. Oh, and then it'd be your yacht tender, just the little tender. It's the yeah, little tender. You know. Yeah, the big yacht is for the TV, and the little yacht is <laughs> for radio. Go. There, there you go. go. It's your oh, AM radio. AM radio in it. Good. Hey, yeah. look at this—the twenty twenty-three Barnes and Noble edition. <laughs> Of Barnes Magazine. That means it has a perfect binding. Look at that. <laughs> Barnes and Noble Mad Magazine. Yeah, what did it's I, kind what of I call it? 2023 wrap-up. Barnes Let's Magazine. Again? Look at that. Is that everything that ever happened in 2023 in one magazine? No, no. That the Barnes and Noble does their own Mad special four times a year. Ah, this is volume and, seven. And a treasure trove. December, trove January, February issue. Of yeah. trash. <laughs> Autographed. By the the chief writer, the, yeah. the Mad's maddest writer. What's in here of yours? Is anything? Uh, let's see. It's a reproduce a reproduction of the Teen Rage Moolah Nitwit Turtles. <laughs> Teenage Moolah Nitwit <laughs> Turtles. Oh, I love them. That's on page thirteen. All right. Yeah. You know, I do like the Barnes and Noble because you can go right to the page. You can see. You can see the stuff. Is this a who who illustrated uh, this one? Oh, it's a uh, Sam, Sam Viviano. Viviano. Okay. Yep, oh, look! Record, you can read over my shoulder. Look at that! <laughs> wow. wow! This is something brand new. Not the one on the phone. This is good. I like it. And there's also things we'd like the new Hello Barbie to say. <laughs> we don't really know what happened to Skipper. Can we change the subject? I like it. Fun. I love Mad Magazine. And is of course there's got to be. A fold in, there is. There is. What scientific meddling has many folks trembling? And we'll you just have to buy it to find out. Fold it in. Uh, is this an Al Jaffe? It is. It's a classic. It is an Al Jaffe. It's an Al yeah. Jaffe classic. Yeah. Mad Magazine, A Treasure Trove of Trash, Volume 7. Now, um, I mention this because you can actually win this from Dick. If you play, what the heck is it? What Go to gizwiz.biz. That's his website. Thank you. And uh, and you will have to guess. This is the new one. Ooh, you yeah. will have to guess the uh, started a couple of weeks ago. It's a goblet for a mouse. Uh, actually, they'll win the uh, February. They'll win the April issue of Mad. Oh, you won't win this. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Th that'll be That's gone by, by yeah. April. So go to your um, local Barnes and Noble and buy this. Yeah, that that's available. At yeah, Barnes and, and then you can play for uh, the April edition of Mad Magazine. If you know what the heck that is, a little mouse lantern. I thought it was a goblet for a mouse. A goblet, something like that. Yeah. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Yeah. Just don't put your pencil in it, because <laughs> you never know. Uh, of course, there are uh, six Mad Magazines for the right answer, up to twelve for the wrong answer. So definitely don't give it the right answer. You have a chance to win. You got until the end of February. You've got two months to guess. What was the... Uh, oh! How many people came up with that? The laptop... Just three. Cleaner. Wow. Just three people uh, knew what it was. And then there were a lot of kind of... Uh, yeah, so then we gave... Uh, a toaster what, with a mustache. 20 I like people, that. Yeah. Yeah. There it <laughs> is. It there is like. folded up. Yeah, that's why it's hard. If you had unfolded it, Easy piece. <laughs> yeah. It right. would sort of cut down a little bit on yeah, then the you'd fun see the, of playing. Yeah, then you see the brush. Now, Dick, I gotta tell you, I gotta say, Dick's Gizfizz continues on gizwiz.tv. So if you miss the Gizfizz on our network, Wednesdays, 5 30 Pacific for the Giz Fizz, and the full Gizwiz show with Chad Johnson, Thursday at 4 30 Pacific at Gizwiz.tv. 
Tv. So you can absolutely yeah, well, see thank you it all. That. Dick, we love you. you. It's we great do. to have you on. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next month with another I'll be back. Gizmo or Gadget. Thank you. Take care, Thank Dick. you. Bye-bye. Okay, take care. Bye. Love it. Love it. Gizfiz.tv and to play the game, gizwiz.biz. I'm sorry, gizwiz.tv. And to play the game, gizwiz.biz. And to buy the Boston Whaler, just fork over 150000 <laughs> and you're, you're in. You're in like Flynn. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching this clip from Ask the Tech Guys. If you want more, you just head to twit.tv slash ATG where you can subscribe and get the full show. Or you can head down into the description and click the links to find out more. Thanks.